tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. And then, oh. I'm very excited for this session because mga former um, teammates ko tong guest na to, and I'm really excited and ang tagal na namin hindi nag-uusap so it's just interesting yun, tawagin natin ito sa kanila yes ito, yes, ang tagal na pinukulit sa akin ito na Thea please welcome, ano, may kasalanan si Thea sa kanya kaya dito ko lang aayusin please welcome Miss Michiko Castaneda hi hi, hi everyone nice to be here hi Michiko <laughs> For the, for the record, Michiko, yung poster, hindi ko kasalanan yun, ha? Okay lang. Nag-usap na kami ng asban ko. <laughs> I had no idea what, ano, basta bibiligyan na sa yung pangalan. Basta, malalaman mo sino yun. <laughs> Ngayon ko nandiyan dyan si Michiko, syempre, meron pa tayong isang guest. Naku, kilala ko na to noong 2019, nagkita kami sa isang workshop, at nagulat siya nung interview ko siya bigla, on the spot. Napaka-spontaneous ko daw magtanong. Please welcome my heart rap colleague, Miss Michelle Dadoe Napper. Hello, hello sa inyong lahat. Hello sa mga viewers, viewers, viewers. Hello. Yes, my first question is, I know that netball is not your first sport, both of you. So how did you make the transition from your previous sport to netball? Let's start with Miss Michiko. Um, well, first of all, um, naging na nakilala ko netball through Coach Piao. So I I used to work at ISM and um, like Coach Piao, I I coach volleyball. And um, nagkaroon ng um, nagkaroon ng opening for for netball, nagkaroon ng tryouts. And she said na since um, somehow similar naman ng movements ng volleyball. Um, sa netball when it comes to like blocking and also um, some some other um, some other movements um, similar to basketball then which is also my first sport sabi niya um, i think um, this would be a perfect sport for you why don't you try it and the best part about that is you get to represent the philippines so sabi ko wait um sige i'll think about it and then finally Naisip ko si Michelle, since parati kaming um, magkasama sa lahat, <laughs> sabi ko, Mitch, try natin, try lang natin uh, yung netball. Without any orientation, um, niyaya ko si Michelle, and since she trusts me, <laughs> sabi niya, sige, let's do this. And when we tried the sport, we fell in love. And um, right then and there, nag-click. So, um, yun, yung skills naman namin sa volleyball, um, na-apply namin sa netball. So, somehow, yun, oh, na, um, it wasn't, it wasn't um, a hard transition. Like, everything um, went smoothly naman. So, um, what, paano me, ka na um, It wasn't that hard for me. Kasi kasama ko yung BFF ko sa volleyball team. Wala, eh. baka mami kung panood pala si coach niyo. Hello. <laughs> mayaya niya ako. Alam mo, looking back, madali talaga akong mayaya eh. Kasi very, very quick story lang ako paano ako nag-volleyball. When I was eight, may neighbor ako na magta-try out sa volleyball team sa elementary school namin. Niyaya lang din niya ako. Yes! So, madali talaga ako mayaya, no? Pero mga good influence naman yung mga nangyayaya yeah. sa ako. So, yun nga, yung transition, hindi naman naging mahirap kasi ng basketball ako ng high school. Tapos, yun nga, may certain movements na the, pareha sa volleyball. Uh, we just uh, needed to study the rules, you know. Kasi, wala eh, zero knowledge talaga eh. So, ayun, natuto na rin kami eventually kasi nga, minahal na rin namin talaga yung, yung netball. At yung mga kasama namin, si Katea, yung mga iba pa namin teammates. At syempre, ang saya-saya ko, kasama ko si Mitch ko. Kaya, <laughs> so yung question ko, um, nung unang try ni ba sa netball, may, parang may iba pa ba kayong tao kulala? Or kayong dalawa lang pa rin ba kulala? Tapos, how was the experience as a teammate? <laughs> Oo, oh, sino pa kayo? Michiko, ito ba? Michiko. Wala si, si Mitch lang. Ay, well, si Ate Sean. Yeah. Ah, uh, UP kasi, di ba? Oo, sa so UP. Ah, Yun ang connection. Oh, oh. Nag-volleyball din si Ate Sean. Well, of course, si Coach Piao. Yung feeling, 
nakakaba nung una kasi parang what's happening? They're all moving, but wala nagdi-dribble. Bakit walang board? <laughs> Ang dami kong questions. But when you get to know the rules of the game, saan ka talaga nga, ano eh, ma- ma-interesado dun sa, I mean, how the flow goes. Kasi it's a mix of everything, like the movements and the rules. Parang there's some similarities in different sports, which makes it uh, a lot more interesting. Like, hindi pwede mag-cross ng, I mean, hindi lahat. I mean, sa basketball, you can you can go to all um, the offensive and the defensive side of the court. Pero dito, limited din. Eh. So, there's a lot to uh, digest, but when you get to play it, ang saya. Naalala ko na nasa gilid tayo, nag-o-observe lang tayo. No? <laughs> okay. I would like to take this opportunity to really thank the coaches. Kasi, um, kami mga wala talagang alam, sila talaga yung nagsyaga na itong sa amin, isa-isa. Imagine yung talagang pinulot mo nang walang alam talaga. Meron, meron lang skills um, as a sports person. Pero yung para ilagay mo siya dun sa uh, hindi siya familiar na sport at ituro mo step by step, it takes a lot of uh, patience. So, salamat sa sa mga coaches, kay Coach Piao, kay Coach Sani, Salamat. Kung nanonood kayo. <laughs> Bakit, Doc Charlie? <laughs> Sa tingin nyo, ano ang kailangan gawin para we embrace the level of awareness for netball? Actually, the, the team has been making efforts. Um, sobrang active ng, ng netball Philippines sa uh, pag-promote. And yun nga lang, it's just so sad that um, dumating yung pandemic. I think once... Um, once everything is okay and settled down, um, the the netball team will, I mean, the Philippine team will be aggressive in marketing ano, um, the sport. Kasi sobrang active nila eh. Um, actually, there are um, workshops for for umpiring, even coaching. So, it's already there. So, timing lang talaga eh. The perfect timing lang. And then we have Thea. To represent Netball Philippines, of I course. Think have na isip ko, pero may pandemic kasi ngayon eh. So yeah. Once, um, once uh, we get better from this pandemic, I think yeah. kung yung mga schools, they will try to um, introduce it to their, you know, physical education subject. Kama nila yung netball, di ba? Hindi lang um, yung mga popular na sports na meron tayo ngayon sa Pilipinas. Kung may isama nila yun, I think ma, na, ma, makaka, ma, ma-adapt ng mga bata. Kasi importante yung grassroots eh. So, kailangan dun pa lang sa mababang level, masimulan na. Although kami naman, kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, hindi kami masyado nahirapang mag-adjust. It's because meron kami uh, history sa sports. But, yung mga itong mag-start na from scratch, dapat bata pa lang sila grade school na introduce na sa kanila yung football. so school yung participation ng school so how do you guys handle the criticism from the let's start with Michiko Miss Michiko well how um, well you just well sa akin parang well at the beginning kasi um we started na um, wala talaga kaming wins wala talaga kaming ano it was challenging na parang to to um, introduce a sport na ganun na parang kami hindi pa kami ganun ka skilled and there were a lot of um, comments and of course um, negative feedback about that but then you just um, ignore it and move forward and just focus on um, so just focus on the thought that you love the sport and it's something that you it's something that you want to um, to grow pa ganun. so talagang focus lang sa sa pag-support sa sa netball and then support lang each other sa, sa team ganun lang yung ganun lang yung naging rationale ng lahat ng pagdating sa sa mga negative feedback at the end of the day you just want the sport to um, um, you just want it to continue and you want everyone to love what you want to love, di ba? So, uh, sa totoo lang, yung immunity ko sa mga bashers and haters, na-develop na siya since college. Magaling yan! 
<laughs> Talaga? Paano, so, Miss Michelle? You know, when people say things, lalo na yung mga taong wala naman talagang alam sa sports, yung nagko-comment lang sila kung ano yung nakikita nila. I, I don't really pay attention to those people. Because we are chosen for a reason. It means that we are capable of, you know, representing the country. And if not, hindi naman sa dahil may utang na loob yung mga sulit na bash. Pero kung wala nagsimula, if not for the, the guinea pigs, the pioneer team, yes. kung walang ganon, paano magde-develop yung, yung, diba, yung sport na netball? So, ayun, sige lang, sige lang. Kung ano yung marinig namin, lalo na pagka, ang social media talaga very powerful yan. So, you, re- you really need to have a strong mindset. Kung pipiliin mo yung, kumaga, piliin mo yung battles mo. Ito, wala naman alam sa sport, pero namin nilang sinasabi. Kailangan, yung focus mo, bakit ba ako nandito sa team? Ang focus is, you know, to improve, to expose the the sport, and to learn more and to win, eventually. So, yun. Yun, 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 ang, yun ang thinking ko before. So, yun, in, in, bukas inyo na ako sa mga haters. Ay, um, Mitch, ko sa Kuwari, you were given a chance na mag-i-dump to promote that ball team na rin. Patingin mo, saan kayo mag-start talaga? Ikaw, Michiko, where will you start to promote this? Uh, can you say that again? Ano ulit? Saan mag-start na promote? To promote the sport. Saan ka mag-uumpisa talaga? If you were given a chance to take the lead. Hmm. Yeah, it's same with ano, same with what Michelle um, answered a while ago. Grassroots talaga. You start from, you start, you start them young, and then from there you develop. And I think there's been talks about it na di ba, um, implementing din sa, sa schools. Um, I've seen some conversations with the other coaches, and they're making plans na. It's just um, the unfortunate. Um, effect of this pandemic is um, diba, kung wala lang talaga to eh, I'm sure we can, ano, we can progress for, further. So, okay, so this segment kasi, favorite part ka to, every time you have ano lang to, would you rather or this or that? So, uh, when you, <laughs> when you answer, uh, you, you have to explain. Uh, and then the questions will be random, ako, random, random po sila, like, para, 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 uh, Lang, would you rather? Or, Michigo, would you rather solve world hunger or global warming? Mm. Wow, ang hirap yan, ha? Parehas na... <laughs> parehas na, ano yan, ha? World hunger or ano, global warming? Ako, parang parehas. Ang hirap. <laughs> ang hirap yan, ha? Kaya ganito palang feeling maging beauty queen. Ay, kung eh, <laughs> <laughs> Kaya yung ako na yun. <laughs> Kala ko ba hindi serious? Grabe world hunger. Parang ano na ako na na-stress ako doon. Uh, ano ba? Um, hmm. Global warming. Solve po global warming, I guess. I think uh, that would be the best um, um, best um, issue to focus on because um Ano ba? When you... Ay, nako. Namay mental block ako. Si... Parang hindi ko okay. kaya. Okay lang. <laughs> Malala ba? Sorry na, guys. Oo. Oh, oh. I mean... Oh, break School break oh, Nakabreak yung utak ko, eh. Oh, sige, sige Michelle, ikaw na lang. <laughs> Parang ang hirap okay. naman. Hindi ready okay. yung brain cells ko. It, it, it's really hard for me because my... my business advocacy is uh, to uh, promote eco-friendly and uh, sustainable living. But uh, your question, actually, it, it's interconnected eh. Global hunger and global warming. Uh, I think I'm gonna choose global warming because you have to provide a livable uh, environment for the people. Uh, and if, if, if you're if you not able to solve global warming, you're not going to be able to produce uh, uh, vegetables, fruits, and other, you know, yung mga fresh produce. So you have to take care of global warming. Walang, wala ka may provide na food, diba? You want to solve uh, 
global hunger. But how can you pro provide food for the hungry people if you don't resolve the, the problem in the environment that will provide food for the hungry people? Yes. Bye. Yes. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next episode only here on V81 Radio, Manila.